Besides the game, the halftime show and the commercials, the Super Bowl, of course, is also all about the food. That's right. It is the second highest food consumption day in the U.S. behind Thanksgiving. So this morning, we're huddling up to get some ideas to add to our menu. This morning, we're joined by Chief Brian Ingram from Hope Breakfast Bar. and the He's Nome also Club. a chef. And the chef, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a possible supper club, a new restaurant you're going to tell us about yeah. in a minute. Hello, happy Super Bowl weekend. Thank you. It's exciting to be here. Excited for the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. you got some good stuff. Yeah. Are you, uh, just out of curiosity, who are you rooting for here? I'm a Jets fan, so I'm rooting for nobody. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Safe. Fair enough. Very right. safe. Yeah. All right. Uh, we're going to start over on this side. Uh, yeah. You've got, this is surprising, you've got carrots and celery. Yep. Healthy options for people. Yeah, that was really just for the viewing audience. It really <laughs> wasn't for me. Um, so for us, again, a buffalo, buffalo wings and uh, how do you do buffalo wings and wings and chicken are so expensive right now. So a buffalo dip is an easy way to really kind of satisfy all things dip and you can do it with chips. You can go healthy if you want. You can do it with pita bread. And for us, what that means is we take some chicken and you can buy a whole rotisserie chicken at the grocery store, chicken breast if you want, chicken thighs, celery, carrots, sour cream, cream cheese, uh, buffalo wing sauce. You just mix all that up in a bowl, throw it in a crock at the house. You can serve it cold or hot. Oh. Uh, so you can have it out either way you want to do it. And just all day you can be picking and it doesn't necessarily have to be hot. Super easy. You can make it ahead of time if you've got a big Super Bowl plan. So it's and an you easy just way. stick this under the broiler to you do it? You stick that hot? under the broiler. I have a torch somewhere around here yeah. as well. And you can do it with a torch. You can throw it in your oven and just put it on broil and let it char up. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I love these cute little bowls. Too. Yeah. No, they're not bowls. They're little skillets. Yes. And an even easier What's in dish. the crock pot? Yeah. So uh, I love Hawaiian rolls. I'm a chubby guy and I love Hawaiian rolls. So <laughs> same thing. The night before, I take chicken breast and chicken thighs, throw them in a crock pot, take a jar of peppercini peppers, mm -hmm. the juice and everything, so you get mm -hmm. that kind of pickly brine. Oh, you don't throw even Throw it all it. in. Don't drain it. Okay. You put in a bag of that ranch seasoning mix. Okay. Throw in a little bit of chicken stock. You can, again, you can throw in green onions, parsley, anything that you kind of want to add to it. Can I assemble one yeah. of these just to see kind and of And you put it on a Hawaiian roll. Let's see if I can and then we make a simple exactly. coleslaw. And again, we want that tang. So we put Italian dressing on our coleslaw. So you get that crunch, you get that chicken, you get the onions. And just again, a, a nice, easy way you can set your crock pot out for the day and uh, mm -hmm. enjoy sandwiches all day long. Okay, and this is your slaw with the, with the pickles in it. With pickles, and it's got the Italian right. dressing, so you get that vinegar and kind of salty flavor to it. Oh, look at that. Mm. And plenty of dill flavor. Plenty of dill, yes. I like dill. I like pickles. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're hired. You want to come work <laughs> yeah. the restaurant? It looks beautiful. I'm yeah. trying to get the hang of these giant tweezers. Right, the big tweezers. <laughs> yeah. I think using the crock pot uh, on Super Bowl makes sense because, you know, you yeah. figure people are, this is, a long, this is a, a, a it's day. It's a long, it's a you're long in for the day. journey, yes. Yeah. So you, you want gotta, something that's going to last and, yep. you know, you don't, you don't have to worry too much about it. You yeah. Know, spoiling or whatever. That's really what all these things are. They're meant to sit out and to be able to come to it. You, you're going to be there for three, four hours, so you might as well make it easy for everybody. Okay. okay. You also have an, yet another restaurant establishment that I you were do. working on. Tell we us have, about we Spring have Break. We have Spring Break, yeah. So winters are long in Minnesota, and uh, we wanted to really, again, transport you and have you somewhere where you're on vacation. And Spring Break, to some people, maybe Mexico, maybe Florida, maybe California, maybe anywhere warm. <laughs> so we really wanted to create a concept that lots of frozen drinks and daiquiris and uh, we're going to have sand, we're going to have artificial turf, and then it's going to be all things 80s. So the old days, uh, um, MTV used to play music on it back when <laughs> mm -hmm. I was a kid. Really? Yeah. So big music wall, live music, uh, we have a giant stage and dance floor and all of that kind of thing. So all things fun. It's going right across from the Excel Center on West 7th, right next to our Apostle restaurant. So between those two, we'll have a one acre patio and seating for uh, five, six hundred people. Wow, oh, that's a wow. lot of people. Yeah. I, I love this concept. If you can't get away, maybe you can't afford to go yeah. to Florida or wherever, Hawaii. Yeah. You've got some part, you know, within the restaurant that you yep. can, you know, make your yeah. You gather your friends together and sit on some sand and yep. drink some fruity cocktails. Yeah, that's for us. That's the whole thing is come in. We're going to actually block out all the windows where you can't see outside. <sighs> we want you to be immersed within this space and and maybe you don't want to look outside and see snow all, all winter long. So, yeah. And in the summer, we'll open up all the garage doors and everything and bring the warmth and everything from outside in. How much sand are we talking? 
Oh my gosh! Well, the health department. I'm still waiting on some mm -hmm. approvals, okay. but okay. Uh, Too early for that I'm question. hoping Sorry. truckloads of sand for the patio. And uh, I was just in Mexico, and it was great for cleanup. A little rake, you you, you rake yeah. up the food, throw it in a bucket, <laughs> and you're out of there. So, awesome. Yeah. Looking forward to that. All right, yeah, real fine. quick, our megaphone question. We want to talk about must-have Super Bowl foods. There's the selections there. Wings still in the lead. There you go. I'm more of the dip. I'm going for this, yeah. mm. the blue cheese dip here. But I'm uh, a nachos girl. And even though you, we don't have nachos here in yeah. front of us, what would you say is the best, other than cheese, clearly? Yeah. The protein. What's the best thing to put on a nacho? Yeah, the protein, like a beef barbacoa I love, a pork carnitas. For me, having the nacho, like I need some substance too, so having some sort of substance. This chicken I'm would be making great. this. I'm uh, going to try it really yeah. quick, because is yeah. it spicy? You said there's uh, a peppercini. There's a little bit of spice, but it's pepperoni spice, okay. so I call that Minnesota spice. <laughs> and we know it's messy. It's so, messy. very grateful. You know, yeah. Leah yeah. has become the one now who samples all the food. Which, yeah, you know, we've sampled a lot over the years, so I'm like, you're in. And, and that's really good. Mm -hmm. I'm making a mess, but you're right. It's got a little kick, but not. Yeah, not overpowering. I and you can put kids, sure. pickled jalapenos in there if you want to kick it up. Spice uh, it up. You spice it up. Yeah. All right. You are a busy man. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually getting on a plane to Turkey to go help with earthquake relief in four hours. I'm heading out. Oh my God! Wait, tell me, okay, before we go, how did you decide to get involved in this, and yeah. what will you be doing? Yeah, so we, we have a partnership with the Gospel Culture Cafe over there. I was over there a couple of years ago and helped uh, kind of kick that off. And for us, if I can go over there in the summer and walk in chai fields, then I damn sure should get over there when when they yeah. really need it. So we we have a couple of vans waiting. We're going to head to a their version of Costco, load it with blankets and warmth and uh, a soup kitchen out of the other one. Wow, that's fantastic. fantastic. Uh, we're thinking a week, but it could be longer. And it just, sure. we're going to go and serve until we either run out of money or can't, or they throw us out, one of the two. <laughs> so we'll see well, you the day after you get back. We're yes, back here to absolutely. Tell us about it. absolutely. We want you to come back here. Awesome. And absolutely. And if you can just, you know, we'll check take in some with video, you guys. whatever. Yeah. And we just want to, you know, we love what you're doing. Thank it's you. fantastic. That's wonderful. Thank you. All right, Chef Brad Ingram. Brian Ingram, thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. And you can learn more about all of his restaurants by heading to PurposeRestaurants.com. And if you'd like the recipe for the buffalo chicken dip, the uh, chef Brian's touchdown chicken, we'll be posting it on our Facebook page later on today. Thank you so much. Awesome.